Hello everyone, this is Chris the Computer Dude. Uh, it's going to be kind of quick today. I'm, I'm, I'm going to share with you a, a piece of software that I use a lot. I ain't going to say all the time or frequently, just uh, periodically. Anyway, it's this software right here, CC Cleaner. It's very helpful to me and it's very helpful to the people that I recommended it to. Alright, what you do when you download this, this is the free version right here. Just go with the default. See all them check marks right there? That's by default. You can go through and check the boxes you want to, whatever you want to check. You can do that to yourself. But it just make it it makes it go a lot longer when it's scanning and stuff like that. So I just leave it at default. Unless it's something you really want to concentrate on in a erase or want it to target or something like that. Alright, anyway, you go to CC Cleaner. Cleaner Registry Tools and Options and upgrade is this little section over here that you want to pay attention to mainly the top three is the ones I normally deal with so if you're cleaning you basically run your cleaner and hit OK and let the green thing go to 100 and you see it found some stuff and then when it found stuff that means it cleaned those out but you want to run it again to see if it's going to erase more clean more out you can see now it only got one and you, the, the goal is to go get it to zero. If you don't get nothing right here, then it's perfect. But if you only got one item, it ain't too bad. But, you know, try to delete everything. Just keep running it. So run it again. Hit it again. See if it'll go away. If it don't, then it's probably something in your background that's, that's hope making it uh, find this little um, error. So this basically right here is thumbnail cache. So there's a thumbnail on here. They got some cache. The something that is it won't erase. But anyway, you do the same thing with registry. Um, you go here, but only thing different you go here and say scan for issues. You hit that and then let the green uh, bar go up again to a hundred. And it says invalid uh, file references. So basically, um, you hit fix issues. I don't save mine to the registry. You can if you want to, if you want to monitor it or if you want to um, analyze it or whatnot. I always say no. And then hit, once you hit say no, it asks you, do you want to fix that issue? Hit fix. Then you see right here it says issue fixed. Then you close it and you do the same thing you did with the other one. You keep going over it until you don't see nothing right here in this box. So it's going again. I'm going to fix it again, see if it's going to clean it. Fix issue. Close nothing so it didn't clean it but anyway here you can go down here and delete files from your, your system so like if you found something that you didn't like or something that in, uh, installed when you downloaded something you can go find it here it might be slowing your computer down or maybe hiding somewhere on your computer you can probably find it in here and then you can delete it you just click on that then uninstall it or you can rename it or you can delete it but I uninstall it if I was you. So, okay, um, with that said, let's go back up. Uh, yeah, let's go back. Actually, let's go, let's go down to uh, uh, tools again. We'll go that. You, you can uninstall. Then you can go to startup. This is what's starting with your computers. You can see how yes, yes, and then three yeses for me. This can also slow your computer down, so you make sure you take everything to know or either disable it, so it won't be starting while you um while your computer starting up, because it'll slow it down. If you got a million things here or a hundred, it's gonna be a lot slower. So here, as you can see, you could go uh, browse plugins, whatnot, and then here, this is the disk analyzer. This is good if you want to analyze your disk. Save space, so you go here and you run it. And you uh, will analyze it right here, and then it'll, it'll tell you what you should shrink or take off or whatnot. This is the duplicate finder. So if you go here and you got the same file names or the same files, it'll find it here, and then you delete all but one because it won't let you delete them all anyway. Like if you got three, it only let you delete two. It'll keep one grayed out. You'll see that when you test it. But anyway, with that, that's it. Uh, that's pretty much the program but I'm gonna just go here real quick and show you which ones to choose so if you go here to the internet and you go up here I just hit CC and I type cleaner in up here I'm, I'm typing with one hand I'm kinda leaning up right now CC cleaner okay 
Uh, I'm typing one hand. I'm kind of leaning on my elbow. Sorry about that. I'm a faster typer than that. Go down to this one right here where it says uh, P I R I F O R M. Prim uh, form. I don't know how to pronounce that exactly, but that's the one I go to because it's a free download, and that's the actual company I guess that created or whatnot. As you can see, it gives you three options right here: free, professional, professional plus. You can see the check marks to basically show you what they do. And uh, if you just wanted to keep it on here and have it for yourself, just hit the free version right here download that but if you want a trial version because you might want more stuff it to you want it to do more stuff for you go for the free trial once the trial up it asks you to pay for it it you'll get it for like I don't know how many days or not two weeks three weeks a month or whatever and then this is the paid version it's 39 bucks and then it does all of these things right here so this is the one I got right now and I just keep that one because I'm pretty much I'm pretty sharp at what I do with my stuff so I don't really need too much I just need the basic cleaning and stuff like that but that without further ado that's it and so check this program out by all means if I was you I download it and uh, keep your computer a lot uh, cleaner and faster alright with that said I'll talk to y'all again stay tuned for the next video check the blog out check the agenda and you'll see what I got to offer. One love, y'all. Thanks for viewing. T. Lynch out. Don't forget to subscribe to me. One love.